the Philippines has been blessed with several mountains that makes every mountaineer aims to climb more and more. Whether you're a first-timer, a seasoned mountaineer, or a professional, the summit is always there waiting for you to climb on. These majestic mountains of the Philippines lie on its largest mountain range, the Cordilleras in northern Luzon. With a total area of 18,300 square kilometers, the mountain range has been declared as an administrative region which includes the provinces of Benguet, Abra, Kalinga, Apayao, Mountain Province, and Ipogao. This episode of Office Getaway, we will list down most of the mountains in Luzon, from north to south, including the mountains in the provinces of Rizal and Quezon. Some of you may climb most of these mountains already, while others may want to list it down and put it in your back at least. So, what are we waiting for? Let's start with the first mountain. The first mountain in our list is Mount Pintubo, a dormant volcano that erupts on June 15, 1991, which considered as the most catastrophic volcano and the second largest terrestrial eruption on the 20th century. Today, Mount Pinatubo is one of the most popular tourist attractions in central Luzon. With its blue and green water and the majestic crater it has, this is definitely a perfect place for people who love mountains and adventure. There are two ways to get to Mount Pinatubo. If you want a day tour and not really in hiking, you can choose the option by a Kappa Starlock. There you will ride a 4x4 on a lahar field and trek for a couple of hours to get there. The other option is for the mountaineers who loves challenges and adventure. This is called the Sapang Uwak or the Delta Pipe Circuit. The trail is not recommended for the beginners. This is a two-day hike with 12 to 14 hours on the first day and another 10 to 12 hours on the second day. It depends on the condition of the member. Either of the two trail, Mount Pinatubo is one of the best mountains that I climb. And it's really recommendable for everybody, especially to those who have experienced of its catastrophic eruption of the past. Mount Pulag is Luzon size peak at 2,926 meters above sea level. The third highest mountain and one of the famous mountains in the Philippines. It is one of the richest biodiversity in the country, having gardens of pines, moss, and grass. There are five ways to get to the summit. By Akiki Trail, Edit Trail, Tawangan Trail, the famous Ambangig Trail, and the Ambagyo Trail. Mount Damas in San Clemente, Tarlac is our third mountain in this video. The days required to summit is just 4 to 5 hours. But if you want to maximize your hike, you can do a two-day trek on this. This mountain is not easy as the other mountains. It's difficult to level a 6 out of 9 and considered a major climb. The highlight in this trail is the Ubud Falls. You can go and set a camp there and even make yourself wet in the said falls. <laughs> a 
between the neck to Mount Manalmon and Mount Gola. These two mountains is definitely for beginners. It is located at Sitio Madlum in San Miguel, Bulacan that is a few hours away from Metro Manila. If you are familiar with the Biak na Bato, it is part of the trail. The climb starts when you cross the so-called Madlum River where your feet might get wet in some part of the trail. This river is also perfect for overnight but make sure to go there in summer because this is where the Madlum tragedy happens. During the World War II, Mount Gola served as a watchtower for the guerrillas. But today, this is a good place for an office getaway. While Mount Manalmon is much easier than Mount Gola, you can reach the peak in just one and a half hours. Stop. The Minova Circuit Mount Kayabu and Mount Minova is located in Barangay Kayabu, Tanay Rizal. These two mountains is considered a minor hike with difficulty level of 3 out of 9 to summit. If you are early on the trek, you may see some sea of clouds along the way and the scenic view of Sierra Madre. These two mountains is followed by eight waterfalls on your way down the mountains. The said eight waterfalls is really refreshing, especially when you get yourself wet on the water. Another destination in Tanay Rizal is the Nagpatong Rock Formation. This hiking is a nice easy trek with promise of impressive rock at the end. In order for you to climb that rock, there is a queuing of series of ladder and ropes to climb. The formation of this rock is quite rewarding since you can view the Tanay's Mountain including Mount Arid and Mount Tokduwang Banoy. The seventh mountain in our list is Mount Arayat. Mount Arayat is an inactive volcano in Luzon Island, rising to a height of 1,026 meters or 3,366 feet. This mountain is famous for the tales of fairies and other mystical creatures. It is now considered as one of the most famous hiking destinations in central Luzon. The major jump off is in Arayat National Park, Barangay Bano, Arayat. The days required to summit is one day and the hours to summit is four hours. This is considered a minor climb with difficulty level of 3 out of 9. The peak itself is the suitable campsite with wide spaces for the tents, it can accommodate many hikers. There are monkeys in Arayat. Just make sure to guide your belongings when you stay there at night. Many people is familiar to Mount Banhao since it is considered as a sacred mountain. But how about the Devil's Mountain? Mount Cristobal is a twin mountain of Banhao. It is the opposite of the sacred mountain. All the negative energy is coming from Mount Cristobal. The Dolores Quezon Trail is by far the most common trail used to climb this mountain. You need one to two days to climb the mountain with four to five hours of hike. Mount Cristobal is still considered a minor climb 
with difficulty level of 4 out of 9. The ninth mountain in our list is Mount Pico del Oro, also known as Mount Palay Palay. It is a dormant volcano in Cavite, province on the island of Luzon. This mountain is between Marogondon, Cavite and Nasugbo, Batangas. The days required to summit is 1 to 2 days and the hours to summit is between 2 to 5 hours. It is only a minor climb with difficulty level of 3 out of 9. Pico de Loro's friendly trail makes it an ideal climb for climbers. Its summit stands at only 664 meters above sea level. But for some reason, this mountain is closed since 2016. Mount Tarak in Maribeles, Bataan, need a two-day hike with five to six hours going to the summit. It is considered a major climb with difficulty level of four out of nine. This mountain is famous for its rocky terrain, steep cliffs, and pointed rocks. The ridge of this mountain is really amazing that attracts more mountaineers every year. There is one stop area in this trail that hikers relax and take a rest. Others put a camp and stay here overnight before going to summit. This area is the famous Papaya River. Mount Patulao is our 11th mountain. This is also one of the famous mountains to all mountaineers. It is located in Subo, Batangas. This mountain requires one day to summit with 2 to 4 hours of hike. It is considered a minor climb with difficulty level of 4 out of 9. There is also a 60 to 70% of assault in this climb. Some highlights of these mountains are rolling grasslands, the gorilla-shaped ridge, and the amazing view of the Anlik. The cool weather in Tagaytay also felt in Mount Matulao. But there are days that this mountain feels like a desert, which is hot and humid weather. Near Batulao, you will see Mount Talamitam. It measures approximately 630 meters above sea level and merits a 3 out of 9 difficulty level. Mount Apayang is Mount Talamitam's neighbor. This is a two peak in one mountain. Mount Talamitam is an easy hike, perfect for beginners. This mountain offers a river crossing, cogon trails, and passing through upland farms. At the summit of these mountains, you will see Mount Batulao, Tataal Lake, and Tagaytay. While Mount Apayang is 10 meters higher than Talamitam. 662 versus 654 meters above sea level. What's more, it has a nice view of Talamitam, Batulao, and the Maragondon Range including Pico del Oro and Mount Marami. Mount Makiling is our 13th mountain. This is a dormant volcano located on the border of Laguna Province and Batangas on the island of Luzon. Mount Makiling is famous for its form that resembles a woman lying down. 
It is also the place where Maria Makiling from the Philippine Methodology resides as the mountain's guardian. The hours to summit is 4 to 5 hours, while days required is 1 to 2 days. This is considered a minor climb with difficulty level of 4 out of 9. Mount Makiling must not be underestimated. Several cases of deaths has been reported throughout the years. Mount Tagapo is a conical peak on the lake island of Talim on Laguna de Bay the largest lake in the Philippines. The days required is just one day and the hours to summit is only two hours. So it is a minor climb with difficulty level of two out of nine. You will have to board a pump boat from the town of Rizal to reach the island. The whole island is like a grove and people live on the bamboo which islanders use to produce furniture, toothpicks, and even charcoal. There you can behold the entire Laguna Lake and its coastal towns, the skylands of Makati and Ortigas, as well as a nearby Mount Sembrano. Mount Taraitan is located in Tanay Rizal and General Nakarqueson. The major jump off is in Barangay Daraitan in Tanay. The days required is just one day with hours to summit of 2 to 4 hours. So it is a minor climb with difficulty level of 4 out of 9. Some features of this mountain is like tropical forest, limestone formations, and river trekking. The hike going up is a straightforward 600 meter ascent that might feel steep to those not used to hiking. At the summit, you can see the Sierra Madre Mountains, the Raitan River, and a glimpse of Laguna de Bay. With its striking outdoor attraction, such as a century old limestone, caves, rivers, and relaxing spring, this place has now been an eco-tourism site. Mount Malipunyo is our 15th mountain in this video. It is also known as Mount Malarayat. It is located between Batangas and Laguna. The entry point is in Barangay Talisay Lipa and the exit point is in Barangay Atisan, San Pablo City. The days required is just one day and the hours to summit is between 3 to 5 hours. So it is a minor climb with difficulty level of 3 out of 9. This mountain is cool and forested for the most part even the summit. Other areas are grassy, like those near Manabu Peak. Fruits such as Sintonis, a form of citrus, and some peanut, also known as the wild strawberry, grow in the slopes of this mountain. Animals such as wild boar, monkeys, and iguana are also claimed by the locals to be present in the mountain. Our 16th mountain is Mount Manabu. This is part of the mountain range of Malarayat. 
It is located in Santo Tomas, Batangas. The jump off point is in Sulok Barangay, Santa Cruz, Santo Tomas. The days required to summit is one days and the hours to summit is one to two hours. So it is a minor climb with difficulty level of two out of nine. The peak area is like a beautiful garden. The highest point is marked with white cross. The name Manabu is said to be abbreviated from Mataas na Bundok. It is one of the three major peaks of the Malipunyo Range. Because of its easy access, short trail, and very beautiful environs, Manabu Peak is a great introduction to hiking for beginners. Mount Makulot is one of the most popular day trip and summer destination. It is located at the heart of Batangas. The mountain has three destinations, the Rockies, the Summit, and the Grotto, all of which can be covered by a traverse day hike. The Rockies is the most popular among the three for it stands beside the world famous Taal Lake. Mount Makulot is in Cuenca, Batangas. The days required is just one day and the hours to summit is just one to four hours. It is a minor climb with difficulty level of three out of nine. Some features in this mountain like the view of the lake, the rock formation, and the forest. The 18th mountain in this video is Mount Irid, which is in Tanay, Rizal. The major jump up is in Barangay Santa Ines in Tanay. The days required is 1 to 2 days, while the hours to summit is 5 to 8 hours. So it is considered a major climb with difficulty level of 6 out of 9. Some features of this mountain like tropical rainforest, limestone formation, and the scenic view of the Sierra Madre. To access this mountain is not easy. You need to ride a 4x4 to cross 11 rivers. Then, you need also to cross 9 rivers by land. On the trail, you will pass along the way this Kinabuan Falls, which is a nice side trip to be refreshed. At the summit, the limestone formation offers splendid view of Sierra Madre Mountains and a glimpse of the Southern Tagalog region. Our next mountain is Mount Tapulao. It is located in Palawig, Sambales. The days required is 1 to 2 days and the hours to summit is 6 to 12 hours. It is a major climb with difficulty level of 5 out of 9. One of the features of this mountain is the view of the West Philippine Sea. Mount Tapulao in Zambales possesses the charm of Mount Pulag. The pine trees is all around the mountains. By the way, Tapulao means pine tree by the locals. You will never forget Tapulao when you hike in this mountain because 80% of the trail are rock roads. You need to start hiking early in the morning so that when the sun is already up, you already on the part of the mountains that is full of pine trees. You will see different flora and fauna in this mountain. You will see numerous insect species, birds, as well as flowers and exotic plants. Tapulao 
is the highest peak of Zambales Mountain. Mount Hapunang Banoy is our 20th mountain. It is located in Rodriguez Rizal. The days required is one day and the hours to summit is 2 to 4 hours. It is a minor climb with difficulty level of 4 out of 9. Some features of this mountain like limestone formation, scenic views of Sierra Madre and Rizal provinces. Banoy is the Tagalog word for eagle. And the name of the mountain comes from the place where eagles come to dine. Mount Hapunang Banoy, which is actually conjoined with Mount Pamitinan. Mount Pamitinan and Mount Hapunang Banoy share a common trail that passes through the rock climbing walls of Montalban. Mount Pamitinan offers a challenging yet refreshing trail for first-time hikers. Its peak is 426 meters above sea level and it takes roughly an hour and a half to three hours until you reach the summit. With a difficulty level of 3 out of 9, this mountain in Rodriguez Rizal allows you to discover and unleash your inner strength with its steep trail and pointed rock formation. The jumping off point is at Sitio Nino where you will have to cross a hanging bridge over a Wawa River. The terrain is dangerous as the trail changes into steep slopes with sharp and rough rocks. Mount Pamitinan has two summits, and it's in the first where hikers usually take their buwis buhay shots. Marami is our 22nd mountain which is located in Maragondon, Cavite. The days required is 1 to 2 days with hours to summit to 46 hours. It is a minor climb with difficulty level of 3 out of 9. The trail begins smoothly although it possesses concern for both wet and dry season. It is severely muddy when wet whereas sun exposure is notoriously acute when dry. At the summit, winds are strong and weather is cool. Dramatic view of the Maragondon Mountains, including Pico de Loro, Mount Maribeles, and even Mount Badajal. Dramatic rock formation set in this beautiful background create an infinite number of photo opportunities. The Kibungan Country is a tri-provincial traverse. It is said to be approximately 50 plus kilometers with an entry point in Benguet and an exit point in La Union. According to the locals, the complete traverse takes hikers to three provinces, which is Benguet, Ilocos Sur, and La Union through 15 mountains. The location of Kibungan Cross Country is in Subpon Benguet up to Santol La Union. The difficulty level is 8 out of 9, so it is a major hike. The trek needs 3 days and 2 nights duration with 26 to 28 hours of hike. Some of the highlights in this trek is the Crying Mountain, the 80 degrees trail, and the longest bridge from Ilocos Sur to La Union. The next mountain in this video is Mount Pilingan. It is located in Itogon, Benguet. The days required is 1 to 2 days, while the hours to summit is 5 to 7 hours. It is considered a major climb with difficulty of 4 out of 9. Some features of this mountain, pine forest and scenic view of calderieras. 
the hike which is initially courses along the banks of Agdo River before proceeding with the hike proper. Because the location of Mount Pigingan places it close to Pangasinan and the lowlands, expect a warmer than usual Cordillera hike especially at the initial sections. Mountain ridge, a beautiful pine forest, and a view that will simply take your breath away. This is what Pigingan can offer to avid mountaineers. The 25th mountain in our video is Mount Ogo. It's considered as one of the most popular destination in the Cordillera region. Unlike its neighbors Mount Pulag and Mount Napaluan, Mount Ugo has a lower elevation. It boasts of enchanting forest that is home to tall pine trees and also offers an equally breathtaking views. The difficulty level is advanced. It is 6 out of 10. The hike duration is 2 days, which is the location in Kayapa, Nueva Biscaya, Itogon, Benguet. An interesting feature of Mount Ugo trails is the wooden gates that you have to open and close. Perhaps this has something to do with the cows which used to slope grassland as their grazing area. Wild berries called dusong also grow up in Mount Ugo. Although Luzon still have numerous mountains, the last mountain that we will be introduced in this video is Mount Balagbag. It is located in Rodriguez Rizal. The jump up is in Sitio Balagbag, Barangay San Isidro, Rodriguez. The days required is just one day with the hours to summit to one to two hours only. So it is a minor climb with difficulty level of 3 out of 9. Mount Balagbag includes some small waterfalls and rivers along the way, as well as the possibility of traversing to San Jose del Monte in Bulacan and other barangays of Rodriguez Rizal. Along the way to Mount Balagbag, there is also a Veterans Peak or Veterans Summit which is more a local tourist spot. <music> 